Hey guys, what's up? It's the Chinchilla Notebook here and welcome to today's video. So today I was just thinking, since I have no school, it's President's Day, I was just thinking that I would do a video that I've kind of never done before and I wanted to make this week's video kind of interesting. So I was just thinking and thinking and some of the videos I've wanted to film need a little bit more planning to them so I'm not going to be filming them yet. But today I decided to start the first of a series called Chin Vlogs. So I'm very excited for this because like, I don't know, I'm just really excited because you guys have requested some, you know, chinchilla vlogs or whatever. So I, I wasn't sure if I was going to do it or not, but I decided today to do the first of a chin vlog. So I don't know if I'm going to make this like a regular thing, but it's definitely not going to be a video that's going to be up every single Monday. So. Don't worry about that. Anyway, so pretty much what I'm going to do today is just spot clean Merlin's cage because I just couldn't think of anything else to do. And plus this cage is kind of dirty. Last time I cleaned it was yesterday morning. So I'm just going to clean it today and we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I might let Merlin out while I clean. I don't know. But I'm just basically going to clean his cage and like talk with you guys or whatever it is that people do in vlogs. I'm, I'm new to this. So anyway, <laughs> let's just jump right into the video. So I have this um, sweeper thing, I don't know what you call it, but I just use it to sweep up Merlin's cage. If Merlin does decide to jump out, I'm just going to set up his, like, his cardboard wall, his playtime area basically. I have set it up. Also, I got a lot of questions about this, or like comments I guess in one of my videos. Like people saying that's a bleach container and like why do I let him play with that? First of all, that's a sealed bleach container. Oh my goodness, there's a spot of sunlight on it. That's a sealed bleach container, so we can't even get to it. And I usually put it up like on the little sink here, but I forgot that video. So no, Merlin doesn't play with bleach, if that's what you all think. Um, anyway, so yeah, let's just jump right into cleaning his cage. I don't know how to hold my camera, because this is gonna be hard. It's just one hand, but okay. Gotta make sure you don't step on Merlin. All right, so. First, I just take everything out. What are you doing? What are you doing? So first I just take everything out. I'll just open the blinds there. I do do this every single morning. I take everything and move it because this rock's a little heavy for that ledge. Because there's just like, I don't know. How am I supposed to clean? And there's stuff all over. He just doesn't belong in his cage anymore. Okay, so I don't know how to sweep this into hands, so I'm just gonna put this right here. Sorry, you guys get a close up of Merlin's droppings, so sorry about that. Anyway. Yeah, so I actually want to do a haul video soon because for those of you who don't know, every March I buy a lot of Merlin's supplies for the year. So I buy him like hay, food pellets, just anything that needs to be replaced. For example, his water bottle needs to be replaced. Um, I might, I'm going to get a new fleece, piece of fleece so I can make a liner. I'm going to put one of his little mini ledges back into his cage. And then, I don't know, I might just like clean this up. I don't know, I have a lot to do. And usually March of the month where me and my parents, we just like buy Merlin a ton of stuff. Because we usually don't go on shopping sprees throughout the year. So we don't do hauls that often. And Merlin actually has a lot of dust, so I don't have to buy him any more dust. But March is usually the time where I'll buy him all the big stuff. We like to buy everything in bulk, so... Yeah, I'm also going to be doing a spring cleaning for his cage, which means I'm going to take everything out of his cage, and him too, obviously, and I'm going to be like just cleaning it up with outside with a hose, all the little dirty corners of his cage, everything is just going to be clean out, and I will do a video on that for sure because, you know, I don't think enough people do cage spring cleanings, so I've actually... <laughs> certainly never done one outside like I've never done a deep one I've done them obviously inside before I've just like cleaned his cage with Clorox wipes and wipes and you know everything but I've never done one where I take it outside and do a huge cleaning with 
the hose. Merlin. Merlin. Yeah, fun fact, Merlin likes to get in the way everywhere I try to clean, so he's pretty annoying like that. But yeah, I will also do a chinchilla cage tour soon because it's been a while since I've last done one, but his cage, it's just been kind of sad. If you guys haven't noticed, I still have the same fleece from like last spring or last summer, whatever, and yeah, he. I just want to get new patterns for fleece, but then I have to make the liners, so that's going to be a little bit difficult. I don't even make the liners, actually. My grandmother does. Okay. His cage is pretty much all cleaned now, so I'm just going to fill up his hay. I actually did this yesterday, but look how much he pulled out. Yeah. So usually I take the whole thing down and fill it, but since I'm a little lazy today, we're just going to stuff a little bit through the openings. Oh, yeah, and I also don't really feed Merlin on regulations i just give him as much free food as he wants i don't i no longer give him spoons or anything he got hay and toys in there i don't even know how he does that but we're gonna refill it yes we are i never give merlin playtime in the morning and it's morning right now because i'm always at school but i'm home so he's actually pretty unusually active for this time of day I don't know. I think that's good. I don't like to give him too much food because then he just dumps it out or it's just not as fresh. So I have to really move these. They're pretty ugly. They just sit there. See, like his cage needs such a remodel. I've taken out a lot of his stuff and I just like stick it up here or in here for now because I don't know. I'm just kind of in a work in progress with the cage and everything. So, ow, you just bit me. He needs more water also. I'm going to go fill this up at the fridge really quick. Okay, so the last step I usually do is just clean underneath and around his cage, which is a little hard for me to do with him out, so I think I'm just going to put it back in his cage and then fold these up. I need to do a lot of renovating. Re 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 Renovating. I need to do a lot of renovating for his cage because a lot of his stuff is just, it's not the newest. So I've got to definitely update some stuff. Anyway, so I'm going to clean up. I'm just going to basically sweep up really quick. I just cleaned up the cage floor around the cage. Anyway, so I really have a lot of renovating to do I need to get I'm, a, I'm for those of you who don't know me I'm a huge procrastinator so I really got to get Merlin some new stuff ordered why did you pull these inside your cage Merlin look at what he does he pulled this inside the cage like that I don't know how he does it he did it all along the back too wow at least his fleece anyway but yeah, Merlin, just, I just need to buy him a lot of new stuff, a huge chinchilla haul, I need to clean out his cage, remodel his cage, all of that, and hopefully I will do it before the summer, so, because this summer is going to be a busy one, but yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to let you guys go, but I hope this video was interesting, I know it probably wasn't like the best video ever, but for those of you just interested in me cleaning Merlin's cage, there you go. And he's happily eating right now. Also, leave me down any video ideas, as always, that you want me to film.